Hello everyone, I am Ritik Shah, Science Communicator at Raman Research Institute. Are you fascinated with the words quantum computers, quantum technologies? Then this video is for you. Let me take you to Quantum Mixtures Lab, where trapping and cooling of atoms is being carried out from the mixture of sodium and potassium, so which can be further used to deepen the knowledge in quantum technologies. So let's hear Saptrishi Chaudhary, Sanjukta Roy and the students speak about the latest research. This is the experimental setup where we use light and magnetic field to cool and trap a very large number of sodium and potassium atoms simultaneously. Uh, so near absolute zero temperature, uh, the behavior of uh, the atoms are described uh, very well by the principles of quantum mechanics rather than the classical uh, physics and we exploit those properties to, um, to understand uh, about the connection between the quantum world and the classical world. We performed our experiment in ultra high uh, vacuum, ultra high environment I am talking about the uh, pressure range below 10 raised to minus 11 milliwatt. To put it in a perspective, it's like 14 orders of magnitude lower than where we are right now, atmospheric pressure. We designed this indigenous cold atomic beam source, where we create cold and collimated beam of sodium and potassium, and we direct this uh, cold atomic beam towards our main vacuum chamber, where in presence of light and magnetic field, that is called the magnet-optical trap, we trap, this, trap and cool this atom to hundreds of microkelvin temperature. The lasers that we use for the cooling and trapping of atoms, they are prepared on this table. So we use potassium lasers and sodium lasers, both are in ECDL configuration. After the laser output is taken from there, they are inserted in amplifiers, tapered amplifiers, one for the repump laser and one for the cooling laser. So now after they go through, from, go through the amplifier, they give out 1.5 watts per each and they are prepared by acoustic modulators to their particular frequencies that we would need for the experiment and then by the fiber coupling we take the lasers from this table to that table and then we do the laser cooling and trapping on that table. Atoms uh, in itself are very good sensors for magnetic fields and to measure coherence and making long lived spin states. But ultra cold atoms are the excellent, are even excellent candidates for doing uh, me uh, uh, measuring magnetic fields very sensitively. Sodium potassium uh, is a very um, interesting combination because uh, it has an advantage that uh, the sodium being uh, lighter and the potassium heavier, we can uh, do a quantum simulation of uh, many body physics and very interesting phenomena like high temperature superfluidity. This is a device called the digital micrometer device. So when we shine a laser light on this mirror chip, you can actually create different, you can actually shape the laser beams in whatever structure you want. So using this device, you can create uh, different structured potentials and that, and with this potential, you can actually trap the ultra cold atoms in arbitrary structure geometry. This experiment on the quantum mixture of sodium and potassium is a very versatile and, uh, and a very um, uh, important uh, experimental uh, setup where you can have a variety of uh, quantum many body phenomena we can observe in this setup. Uh, we can do uh, not only quantum simulation, but uh, we can do experiments on quantum sensing as well as uh, uh, there, uh, we can do uh, you know, quantum entanglement. So there are a variety of uh, very interesting uh, quantum phenomena which can be observed in this kind of setup. This experiment has a lot of potential in a, in a wide uh, variety of uh, regimes uh, of quantum technology. Such as uh, uh, quantum sensing and quantum computation and quantum simulation and uh, the future uh, uh, progress uh, in this kind of experimental system will be to explore such possibilities. 